Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. What you're looking at is the beta site set up by the multi-physics simulation software maker Comsol to showcase the kind of apps users can produce using Comsol 5.0's App Builder function. Now I'm accessing these apps from a Google Chrome web browser. No client, no installation needed. To begin, let's take a look at this online simulation of a tuning fork. If you notice, this is a web-based simple interface with just a handful of input fields. And that's intentional. The idea is, after conducting a detailed simulation of a tuning fork, its geometry, materials, and the sound frequencies it produces, the expert console 5.0 user would publish an app like this, meant for ordinary designers and non-experts. It can live either on public or private cloud and accessible to anybody with a web browser or an authorized login. This way, without knowing anything about the physics, materials, and the flexing behaviors of a tuning fork, I can use this app to see how the sound frequency changes if I, for instance, change the length of the fork's prongs. I can also do the reverse. Now, I just looked up the frequency for the musical note E. So, what is the ideal length if I want the fork to produce the E note? Let's try to compute that here. Once I have the computation, I can also take a look at the displacement, which gives me a rough idea of the movement of the device as it vibrates to produce the desired frequency or the musical note. Now let's have a look at another example app. I'm certainly not a chemical reactor specialist by any stretch of imagination. So what happens when propylene oxide interact with water inside a tubular reactor? Even if I know my way around a simulation software program, I'd need a very detailed understanding of that particular phenomenon to be able to simulate it. But here I wouldn't have to because another expert has already done the lag work and published this app for me to use. With this app, a non-expert like me can change the activating energy level to see what happens to the heat inside the tubular reactor. And I can do many more iterations by simply changing the numeric values of the activating energy to see where I might start to hit a dangerous point or start to compromise the safety factor, for example. I wouldn't have to pester an expert to help me set up the simulation and run it every time I require a new answer. What this shows is a new way for experts to create easier simulation templates and apps for their colleagues. Companies with expensive material specialists, structural engineers, and nuclear physicists probably won't want these high-paying talents repeatedly running the same simulation jobs over and over. So Comsol App Builder is a very effective way to reduce the workload on these experts by publishing their expertise as templates and apps that the rest of the people can use. That should be music to the corporate bean counter's ears. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong fine-tuning his exit note.